Hello, good people, and welcome to another installment of MWF Tech Tips. In this video, we're going to take a look at adding horizontal bracing, or backing, or blocking, or nogging, however we want to call it, into a panel that is supporting something like all of this kitchen casework right here. So you'll notice here I've got my 3D preview. I can kind of see what's going on. I've got an elevation view, or a section view, rather, over here. And I've already dimensioned where I want to be placing my pieces of backing. Just kind of facilitate everything. So let's start by looking at panel 23 right here. It's important to remember that our spacing starts from the interior side of the wall, looking left to right. In this instance, I would have N stud 1, S1, S2, S3, so on as we go along. This is important because I need to know where I want to start and end that blocking. So in my case here, I'd, I'd like to start it right here at S2 and go all the way along to N stud 2. Perfect. So let's start. We'll keep uh, our dimensions in mind over here. So we're going to open up this panel's properties. We're going to navigate ourselves over to the miscellaneous tab find the horizontals command and here we go we want some horizontal pieces not diagonal so horizontal we want to start at member s2 travel all the way along the panel all the way to e2 i want to use a piece of let's say two by well say two by six right here I, want, I know I want to attach it to the five and a half inch side of that piece. And I know that when I insert a piece of lumber that it comes in flat, like the bottom plate or top plate. So I want to rotate that piece 90 degrees. And where do I want to laterally justify this piece? Well, I know because when I opened this panel's properties, we were looking at the label, which is the interior side. So I want to go to the structural face on the exterior and that'll push it right up against that backing. Perfect, so everything is set here for us, and then we just need to add the number of horizontals. So I know from my dimensions here, I need four pieces, one, two, three, four, and then I can just click here and change those dimensions. So our first piece is at 10 inches, then two foot six, then five foot six, and six foot six perfect so with those four pieces I just add it to that panel close it down and I say okay it'll add those pieces just like that now if I select one of these pieces I notice that it's completely continuous this is an issue we see very often we need to change that and if I take a closer look right here I see that it's measured all oh, right to the top of those pieces. What if I want those pieces in the middle? So let's go back into this panel's properties and fix these two issues. First, we go to the miscellaneous tab, horizontals. My vertical justification is set to top. So that's why it's measuring to the top of those pieces. So let's change it to center. I've made that modification and I say update close it down. If I jump over here to the structural tab, I notice that the split horizontal studs box is unchecked. Let's select that and say, okay, we see our pieces shift a little bit higher. And now as I select those pieces, each piece is its own individual cut piece of wood. Perfect. Now let's do the same thing in late gauge steel. So here we are in a similar example in a late gauge steel project. I see I want to add some additional backing or bracing right here from member whoops, E1 all the way to S5. And again, I've got my two heights here. So again, we open this panel's properties, find the horizontals option, 
say from E1 to S5, but perhaps I want to place this member directly on the structural layer. Perhaps we're sending this information to a roll former and that piece of horizontal needs to be continuous. I would keep my angle at zero. I would also set this to center though, and that'll measure to the center of the flange. And it's a four inch wall, so we find a four inch piece of bracing here. I've got quite a few families in there. There we go, we'll use one of the truss members. Put an S200. Again, two pieces. Oops, not 52 pieces. At five feet. Don't make that mistake, folks. And at six and a half feet. Oops, we almost forgot the lateral justification right on structural center line. Add it in and say OK. Just like that, my two pieces are added into my panel. They are continuous as I can see here. And if I take a look, if we hide this wall real quick. They're measured right to the middle of my flanges there. Perfect, so that's how we would put it in either in wood or in light gauge steel.